Who is Maggie L. Walker? Well, she's one of Richmond's most famous females, and I want to tell you a little bit about her today. Travel across America with me, Maggie L. Walker, a woman of triumphs and tragedies. Our hope for the future lies with the children. Doesn't it always? This is a quote by Maggie Walker. Her National Historic Site is on the Virginia History Trails. This is an official site. We parked by this gorgeous mural. It says engine number nine. There's free parking along the street. We walked a block to the Maggie L. Walker National Historic Site. This is the Visitor Center entrance. The house is around the corner. You should go to the Visitor Center first. They have great exhibits and a restroom, which is great when you're touring downtown. When you go inside the Visitor Center, you will learn more about Maggie Lena Walker, bank president, fraternal leader, and national activist. After graduating from the Richmond Colored Normal School in 1883, she taught for three years at her former school, the Valley School, also known as the Lancasterian School, for a wage of $35 a month. Her employment ended once she married in accordance with school policy against employing married women. That's interesting. Did you know that? I always think of teachers as being single back then, but I never knew that it would be policy in some places. Interesting. When I do the video on the Capitol Square, I will be including a section on Voices from the Garden. This is the Virginia Women's Monument. And look who is number seven. Yes, Maggie. Maggie L. Walker. Of course, she is one of Richmond's favorite ladies. To tour Walker's home, begin your visit at the Parks Visitor Center at 600 North 2nd Street. Tours are free and offered at 10, 11, 1, 2, and 3. You must be a part of a guided tour to see her home. Maggie Lena Walker devoted her life to civil rights advancement, economic empowerment, and educational opportunities for Jim Crow era African Americans and women. As a bank president, newspaper editor, and fraternal leader, Walker served as an inspiration of pride and progress. Today, Walker's home is preserved as a tribute to her enduring legacy of vision, courage, and determination. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. A Legacy on Lee Street. This Italiante mansion was once the bustling home of pioneering African-American entrepreneur Maggie Lena Walker. She was born in 1864. Yes, there had been a little bit of controversy. Was she born in 1867 or 1864? She died in 1934, and I realized that we were visiting her home just a few days before the celebration of her 160th birthday. Walker lived here for the final 30 years of her life and great expanded the home to accommodate four generations of her family. Walker's opulent home and those of her successful neighbors earned the 100 block of East Lee Street the nickname Quality Row. Walker's family continued to care for the house long after her death. Today, visitors can experience the home just as Walker intended it, a place of inspiration where all are welcome. In 1902, she published the St. Luke Herald, a newspaper for the the organization. Shortly after, she chartered the St. Luke Penny Savings Bank. Walker served as the bank's first president, which earned her the recognition of being the first African-American woman to charter a bank in the United States. Charles Thaddeus Russell was Richmond's first black architect, and he designed the building for Walker. The St. Luke Penny Savings Bank's leadership also included several female board members. Later, Walker agreed to serve as chairman of the board of directors. When the bank merged with two other Richmond banks to become the Consolidated Bank and Trust Company, which grew to serve generations of Richmonders as an African-American-owned institution. Unfortunately, the bank building has been destroyed, demolished. It's gone. In other words, you can't see it. What a shame. Maggie was disabled by paralysis and used a wheelchair later in her life. She also paved the way for people with disabilities. And this is her very classy wheelchair. The furnishings in her home and the book collection distinguishes her as an educated woman rising up in society. One of the fun features that the park ranger tour guide pointed out was Maggie Walker's elevator. Yes, it was hidden behind these doors. And here is this great elevator to get her from upstairs to downstairs. Smart lady. And upstairs, we saw this safe 
It has her name on it. The Park Service hired a safe cracker, and when they opened it up, there were lots of papers and journals of Maggie Walker's. The family has requested that those papers stay private. The Park Service is hoping one day these papers will be available to the public. Maggie was a woman of faith. Because of the tragedy that struck her home, I am sure that it is her faith that saw her through. Tragedy struck in 1915 when Armstead, that's Maggie's husband, was accidentally killed. It left Maggie to manage the household. Unfortunately, it was one of the sons who accidentally killed his father. They were both in pursuit of a potential burglar, and this accident changed the life of the Walker family. It was a tragic event, for sure. I want to ask, has anyone seen a bathroom that looks like this? How many things in here can you recognize? The radiator heater, I see a bedpan, and look at the old-fashioned scale, and look, there's a seat in the bathtub. Is isn't this a beautiful bathroom? I think that's a tin ceiling. Do you remember ever using a restroom that looked like this with the tiled walls? On July 15th, which is Maggie's birthday, and that's what I was saying, we, we barely missed being there for her birthday celebration, a statue of Walker designed by Antonio Tobias Mendez was unveiled at the Maggie L. Walker Memorial Plaza on Broad Street in Richmond. The bronze tidfoot statue shows a depiction of how she lived with her glasses pinned to her lapel and a checkbook in hand. Flip-flops on the ground. And classic road trip. Please like and leave a comment below.